Hello everybody and welcome to another episode here on Talk Daily where we're going to be going back and we're going to be talking about cars that I think they're going to be changing. They're going to up the bar basically. It's going to be the, you know, we talked about the Porsche 911 GT3 RS, which I thought, you know, I think it is fantastic. But today we're going to be talking about a car company, Lucid Air Sapphire EV Luxury Sedan. Before I go any further, this article comes to us from Car and Driver and written by uh, Tony Quiroga. As always, have a link to this article in the description below. So, uh, let's dig into this juicy story. This car company is right here in Southern California. And uh, honestly, I drive by it. And I'm always looking at this company, you know, and I'm like, Lucid, I'm a Google. Cool. It's, it, 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 yeah. You, you cannot help it to compare it to Tesla. You can't help it. Even the article, they talk about it. They're talking about the shocking acceleration, but they're saying in addition to do more to rear end, it means that Sapphire should out-accelerate the Tesla Model S played. And even the Bugatti C Chiron Super Sport. Chiron SS. And that's a humongous statement. Uh, I mean, it, the price, a quarter of a million dollars. So the EV maker uh, loses the reveal even a high performance version of its Air Luxury Sedan, Air Sapphire, today during Monterey Car Week in California. And uh, this is August 19. Uh, this latest uh, three motor version will make more than 1,200 horsepower compared to it 1,111 HP for the Air performance this sapphire will be priced starting around two hundred and fifty thousand dollars orders will be taken starting in august with production starting in mid 2023 uh the lucid uh, hasn't nailed down an exact number yet but the air sapphire the new performance version of the air is the most powerful sedan in the world and that pretty much tells you you want the fastest car sedan in the world that's it. So the price before you go and say, oh my God, it costs a lot. Well, yeah, I mean, exclusivity is not something for the common man. So it is what it is. So let's look down at the numbers. I mean, I got the picture of the interior is awesome, but I'm trying to kind of give you an idea about the zero to 60 because I didn't mention it over here. Uh, again, this thing has humongous tires, okay? They're not, we're not talking about very skinny tires. This is a car that also have very humongous tires. So, now I was on saying the new suspension knuckle increase from the track width by 12 millimeter, basically, it's going to be a little bit wider. Uh, the tire width goes up enough to require small fender flare. Michelin formulated a pilot sport. 4S tire for the Sapphire that has a low rolling resistance compound in the inside of the tire and a cup 2 like material on the outside to improve grip. That's extremely clever. So when you're taking a turn and you're leaning on the tire, that's when you have the grip in there. Of course, you want to, you want grip inside and out, but uh, you know, it's especially formulated. Those engineers know what they're doing, hey, and it gives you the MPG. Uh, front tires as well the mpge uh front tires go from uh, 245 to 265 and the rear goes from 265 to 295 those tires wrap a wider forged wheel that have been designed to maximize airflow to the massive carbon ceramic brakes which measure 60.5 inches up front and 11.8 inches in the rear a 10 piston caliber does the squeezing up front with four piston calipers clamping the rear so let's take a look at the picture so i think i think i think it's, it's a nice looking car so uh here it is and oh that's uh laguna seca so that's beautiful uh, oh and now it's called weather tech used to be called you know mazda raceway but now it's weather tech it doesn't matter with the sponsorship this is amazing this has something called the cork screen right? never had the chance to go to racetrack and race there it's fantastic. That corkscrew, uh, you know, in Europe, they got the Nürburgring. Here we have the corkscrew. <laughs> I know there's a bunch of amazing racetracks, you know, in North, in North America, but I just love this one. Uh, moving on. Here's a vehicle. And it's just, it's a heavy machine. I mean, the data is not specifically there. They're just saying it's going to outperform, outperform. 1,200 horsepower is a lot, is a lot. And it's not just the number that's a lot. You know, if you have a muscle car, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, you know, you know, I have a Hemi and I put a supercharger and turbocharger, blah, blah, blah. I can make that much more. Yeah, of course, you know, funny cars make a lot <laughs> horsepower, but this is a, a civilized machine that does it electrically and simultaneously. Like that power just comes, bam, you know, there's no revving required. 
again, that's just uh, like, I don't like those pictures. They're all dark, and what is this like a lunar eclipse? Like, what's up with these pictures? Uh, here's the interior. I mean, I made a video about the Lucid, by the way. I think again, it's just unique looking. Looks different. I don't have any quarrel with it. The seat looks a very bolstery. I mean, a quarter of a million dollars is a lot of money. More pictures on the outside. Oh, look, it's kind of the hatch sedan kind of design. I think also just to make it more like aerodynamic also. And give you more space. That's a clever design. Oh, wow. Look at the glass all the way around. It is... It's neat. It's pretty. That's pretty. It's a pretty looking car. Good job. Uh, I just wish a little bit more shots of the interior. But, uh, I mean, oh, here you go. That's the motors they're talking about. In-house technology, the Lucid motor. I like the logo. It says California Bear. Uh, that looks like it, at least, uh, I'm guessing. You can correct me if I am wrong. Here's a battery. That's pretty much the chassis. That's what cars are becoming now. It's, uh, it's This is it. And everything just goes on top of it. And um, double wishbone suspension. I mean, you're getting the works. Uh, batteries. That's fantastic. That is uh, fantastic. And that's the motor. That's Lucid uh, motor technology. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have no comments about it. But uh, it looks like brushless uh, motor. You can correct me if I am wrong. But it's a dual motor for the rear. And well, that's it. So 1,000 plus horsepower. It's saying, okay, so here's the number. It's saying from 0 to 60 in 2.1 seconds. Give it a second to settle in. 0 to 60 in that how long? 1, 2. <laughs> I, you know what I think about this? Like, who is going to be driving? If Lewis Hamilton is driving this and he's doing 0 to 60, it's okay. Unless you're in a closed course environment, I, it is insanely fast. You're going to have tunnel vision. Who knows? I, that is just insanely fast. 104.3 and pass a quarter mile, 9.4 seconds. That's pretty quick. That is extremely quick. 100 miles per hour at 4.3. I don't think that's numbers could be done repetitively. Um, probably has to do with the cooling. I'm just putting that out there. I don't know that for a fact. Okay. Maybe this car can do these numbers over and over and over. Lucid tells us that acceleration can be done repeatedly without requiring a long cool down. I just answered my own question. Look at me. Look. That article just answered my question. Max acceleration will come via a mode that will be will prepare the battery pack for straight line speed. If the sapphire is quick, as the company says, it is accelerated. It will be accelerated, accelerated Bugatti Veyron Super Sport SS, Chiron, excuse me, Super Sport SS, and that's just the feat of its own. They keep the speed and power in check. The sapphire comes with retuned suspension, and we talked about that suspension and the ten piston brake caliper. Uh, the range has uh, the range hasn't been set yet, uh, but Lucid clearly wants to be its closest competitor. The three hundred ninety-six mile Model S plate. Tesla, uh, the 118 kilowatt per hour battery is straight from the other air model. Aside from the fender flares that bulge out slightly, the only other exterior changes are the large duck bill like spoiler. The other loose says created a net downforce uh, diffuser and a smooth underbody carryover from the other air model. I'd like to see. Uh, I mean, again, the price, I mean, 249,000 is. Uh, <sighs> Orders begin on August 23rd and customers will be required to put down at $24,000, well, $24,900, so let's say $25,000 for a spot on the list. The Sapphire will begin rolling out assembly line at some time before the middle of the year, next year, and the first of what is expected to be a performance brand within Lucid. So even if it's as quiet as the other Lucid model, the Sapphire is set to take a lot of a noise. It I mean, people, this is, this is people bringing up the benchmark. I don't know this company is going to keep going. This is kind of, it's very exciting times. I've been saying this is kind of like when you are in the sixties and there was all these car companies are coming out and some of them don't exist anymore. And you know, the Saturn and whatnot, I'm not comparing this to Saturn, of course, but I'm just saying that the Pontiac and whatnot. So um, I don't know. I think the, is this company is going to be successful. I hope so. I really sure hope so. And uh, they're taking their time making it and they're pricing it accordingly. I mean, the price, some people might say the price is too high, but I say heck with it. 
you know make sure to make a profit and so you can stay in business and continue making amazing cars and i think a lot of people I, it, this is southern california i mean we have the richest people in the, in the universe come here and have money to have it's california have, so many people in california have you know i don't know they, they have uh, money burning their pockets so i guarantee you people will buy it especially especially it's becoming uh, they're putting uh, I mean, the fastest sedan in the world, where else you want? I mean, that automatically just going to get someone who is into cars and, and they have the, that income and they say, you know what, I want it. Because again, look at it, it's very practical. It doesn't stand out. It's not noisy. Yeah, I love, I love the GT3 RS, but there's no comparison between this car and that car. Both are two different uh, vehicles, you know, for different purpose. So uh, I think this is fantastic. So good luck for Lucid. If you are buying one, good for you. Let us know what you think about it in the comment below. I mean, obviously it hasn't been made yet, but let us let us know what you think. And uh, uh, good job for them. Hopefully this company just keeps going. And uh, I like the fact there's competition right now in the water. I mean, uh, Tesla is amazing, but it's the fact there's another company right now competing with Tesla. Hopefully for us, the consumer will be the winner from this competition. Yeah, these cars are expensive, but I believe they're going with the expensive cars to uh, put their name out there. Uh, Again, uh, that's a different subject. I do believe making cheaper electric cars is much harder. I've always been saying that it's easy to make an expensive car. It's easy to make an expensive car. Making cars is not easy. But to make, if you have an option, should I make a cheap car or make an electric, uh, make an expensive car? Make an expensive car is always the easier option between both. To make it a cheap car, it's... It, it takes a lot of capital and because you have to make a lot and large volume and space and time etc when you make an expensive car you can just say oh no, i'm only making a thousand each one costs two million okay well housing a thousand cars easier than housing you know a million cheap little cars so anyway putting that out there so uh it was uh as always uh, let me know what you think in the comments uh, below and the weekend is coming up so have a great weekend and i'll see you next time take care